Yo, what's going down, everybody? It is straight out of Boston here, aka the King of Boston. It's back to episode 6 of the Mick Dick Road of the Show. And our next start's coming against the Norfolk Tides, I believe it is. So, I'll take, I guess we'll take a look at what we did in our last two starts. So, this one we did not have a very good game. Actually, we really didn't have a good game in any of these. Uh, we went 5 and a third, 3 earned runs, though it should have been none. Because, look at that, we committed 4 errors, but they just gave me all earned runs. It's pretty silly. It's like all those runs came off of errors, whatever. Um, and then our start before that, um, I think was, it was one, two, three, four. I guess it must have been this one. Check it out. I know we didn't get any losses. Yeah, we went, Yeah, we had a really bad start today. Four and a third, ten hits, four runs, only one strikeout. So, anyway, we might fail our advancement goals here. We need to get a quality start if we even get a start, which I'm not sure we're actually going to get. So I think we might fail our advancement goals here, sadly. So our advancement goals are ending right about now. Yep. So let's see if we get demoted to the bullpen. Doesn't look like it in the last 11 or less in runs. Failed goals. Okay, this is not a terrible thing. It's good. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, we got bumped back a day. That's weird. Okay. Well, we're going to get into our start against the Norfolk Tides. Welcome back to tonight's minor league pregame show as we close in on AAA International League action. Let's have a look at our Bowman prospect spotlight. Mick Dick is our man to watch. And it seems he stalled a little in the last couple of weeks, making that highly anticipated call up to the big leagues a date down the road. Well, the last thing you want to do is put someone in a spot to fail. And sending a guy to the majors unprepared is begging for trouble. But he's clearly not quite ready, so the bottom line, he needs to step it up if he wants to be brought to the show. All right, pregame festivities are wrapping up. It's time for baseball, and we'll have it for you next. All right, so we're back. And, yeah, as you can see, we've really, as they said it pretty well, we stalled the last few days, the last few appearances. So, anyway, I'm pretty sure we're facing the Baltimore Orioles farm system. I played them already in my last start, and I did all right against them, so hopefully I can have some repeated success. Um, but they have Brian Mattis, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. I know he's in the Orioles farm system, and I'm pretty sure the Tides are the Orioles. If I just remember, like, kind of off the top of my head. So anyway, I've been trying to get my curveball my slider a little bit more involved in my last few starts, so I'm going to be trying to mix them in a little bit more than I have in previous uh, gameplays. Is our catcher going to get that? Nice. Oh my goodness, you suck. Let's go change up. Come on. Oh, that was a bad pitch. Okay, what's that, one and two? All right, we're going to go slider. Even though it's weird because, it, like, in real life, a lot of pitchers don't work all of their pitches. Oh, my God. Our fielding is so terrible. It's the most aggravating thing ever. It's so bad. I can't wait till I get called up. Oh, my goodness. Fielding is so aggravatingly bad in this game. Like, I get that that was a tough play, but it wasn't, like, overly tough. Like, you're in professional baseball. Come on. You're not like Eduardo Nunez. can't, like... Big seven errors game. I got this. Am I gonna catch it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't look at what? No one was on second base. Should have just tagged. That's what I would have done. All right. See, it's weird because like usually pitchers don't throw all of their pitches in the first innings, but this game actually encourages that, so you can get their confidence up with all those pitches. It's kind of silly. Kind of. That's a weird voice crack. Not really a voice crack. It's just kind of early in the morning, so my voice is a little bit, a little bit hoarse. Catch that. Yay. Get back there, Chris Dickerson. Alright, I think either Danny Valencia or the guy with Mike Napoli's batting stance is up next. Yeah, I think this is yeah, this is the guy with Mike Napoli's batting stance. Jimmy Jenkins. Oh my god, I left that over the plate. Oh no. Oh my god, I thought that was going to carry. That's a short porch and right. 326? It's not a high fence either, that's a pretty short porch. Alright, well, we got out of the first inning. Unscathed, that's good. Uh, we're not hitting this game, so we're going to go right back into the pitching. Of course. This is Danny Valencia. He's, like, beasting it right now in AAA. Not, like, in real life. I don't really know what he's doing in real life. But you see he's in 316. He's got 10 homers, and it's only May. So 10 homers, and I guess it's early June now. But still, 10 homers isn't bad. That's on pace for, like, 25 or so. And 25 in a AAA season is, like, 30 in an MLB season. Because the AAA season's like, a month shorter. So. Yeah, he's in about five, four months a month. We're in early June, so. 
Kill change up? No, it wants to go fastball. Fuck that. Fuck you, manager. Or umpire. Or not umpire. Catcher. Whoever the fuck calls pitches. <laughs> really doubt they'd let a triple-A catcher call his own game. But who knows? Maybe Yadier Molina is in triple-A or something. I don't know if Yadier Molina calls his own game. But he should. Because he's cool. Oh, my goodness. Nice play. Not by, not by Jack Hanahan over there, but by uh, first baseman. This guy is... That's a cool stance. That's gotta be someone's stance. That's not a generic stance right there. I don't know whose it is though. I can't think of like who might bat like that. No oh, he's hurt. <laughs> oh, what an idiot. Oh, is this Yamaika Navarro, the legend? The man, the myth, the legend. Yamaika Navarro. Red Sox Hall of Famer. Straight for Mike fucking no range of Vilas. Worst trade in Red Sox history. Now, the worst trade in Red Sox history was... Um, a lot of people want to say the Josh Beckett deal, but, like, Josh Beckett won the World Series 2007, so I ain't mad. Even though they did lose Hanley Ramirez in that. But they also got Mike Lowell, so it's, like, it's a pretty goddamn good trade. Damn you, Mike and Navarro. Why couldn't you do this when you were on the Red Sox? Um, the Coco, Trish, the Coco Crisp trade was pretty bad, although the, the big prospect they gave up in that, Andy Marte, Never actually panned out, so it wasn't a big deal. The Victor Martinez trade was terrible. They gave up Justin Masterson. Yeah, that was too bad. I like Justin Masterson. Martinez never did anything when he's on the Red Sox. He's really bad. He's good on the Tigers, though. He's going to be good this year, I think. Get a lot of protection in that lineup. I'll go home with it. Oh, really? Nerd. Whatever. Still been a good start. Start. And yeah, this is the bottom half of the order, so hopefully we can get these guys. Or not. I guess not. Okay, it's fine. I don't know why I've been struggling so much lately. I should probably, like, focus more, but... I don't know, this focusing thing I'm not too high on. Alright, that's the end of the second. So we've only allowed one run so far, so that's not bad. It's not too bad, we've only allowed two hits, too, which is also a positive. Makes the one run seem a little bit better. Excuse me, I'm yawning. Like I said, it's early in the morning, so. Don't shoot me. Dave Hammonds. Guy bats like Tony Batista. Tony Batista's back on the Orioles. <laughs> Is that Bernard Hopkins at first? Oh, top of the order. I swear Chris Dickerson's never gotten hit off me. I've faced this team twice now. He's like 0 for 5. He doesn't get hits. Let's go slider. I like throwing the slider to lefties. You usually can't do too much with it. Good job, Bernard Hopkins. Sammy Hopkins. Alright, this guy's pretty bad, too. The only part of the lineup that kills me is 3 4 5. Like, um, I don't know who's up after him, but then there's the Jenkins guy and then Danny Valencia, who I think had a home run off me last episode because I hung a freaking slider to him for no reason. I should not have thrown the slider in that situation. Those were the, th those were the two of the three earned runs. Even though the first guy reached out in there, that's going to be caught, right? Oh, what? Oh, my God. Sometimes, man. Sometimes. You make my blood pressure go too high. Can't deal with it. Chris Bake. Yeah, this guy gives me problems sometimes. You got me. You got me. All right, you got yourself. All right, that was a good ending. That was a good, that was a good, good ending. She got that good, good. All right, I'm not gonna start singing. <laughs> I'll spare you guys. Okay, Mike Napoli. <clears throat> Pretty sure it's Mike Napoli stance. Looks like it. Our, oh, our second baseman was having a good day, but no, I cannot continue it. All right, it's gonna be hard to get Danny Valencia to go in a double play, but we'll see what we can do. Change up. Ah. Oh my god, that was a terrible pitch. What the fuck, left fielder? This is the shit that aggravates me. Because guys always take extra bases on those. It's so aggravating. Which we're probably going to get pulled soon. They also pull you really quickly in this game. You might get Navarro. You are not going to get a hit off this time. You're going to get a double play. You're going to grind into a double play. Or you. Okay. Let's go, curveball. I gotta keep the off-speed pitches involved, but, like, if I don't work counts, 
or not work counts, but if I, if I don't get deep in accounts, I don't really throw the breaking balls like even like 1-1 one, one or a 1 or anything like that. Oh my god, that's fucking why too. Oh, These pitches suck. Why did not make it? Really? There's, like, there's gotta be an IQ in this game. And this team is so low on it. Oh, there we got a good call. Alright, I'm like almost done with my off-speed pitches. Because they don't do anything for me. I'll throw it now. Because we're on 0-2. But like, this is when I have the confidence to like throw it as a ball. Of course, hung it, but whatever. We got the double play, so I ain't mad. Oh, we just need one more out. We can get out of this. Or at least they would just give us this call. <laughs> like, even though I know they're like not strikes, but like whatever. Just give us the calls anyway. Oh my god, you suck! <laughs> so far away from the line. He was so far away from the line. I don't believe that. Probably the worst defensive team I've ever pitched for. In any road of the show. God, so far away from the line. <laughs> oh my God. I think our ERA is up over four now. That's great. That's exactly what I want. Oh, Chris Dickerson got a hit off me? When? No, I don't believe that. Chris Dickerson never gets a hit off me. It's just not allowed. I know it was like last inning, but still. I hate that the pulse pitching is really screwed up sometimes. Like, what the fuck? Like, I, that. Like, that wasn't supposed to be, like. Whatever. I'm not arguing with the call, I'm arguing with where the fucking pitch went. It's, like, stupid. Okay, that was a bad pitch. Go slider down the way. Oh, or you're down and then. <laughs> oh my goodness. I really wish. Oh my god. <laughs> We're getting lucky now. Alright, I'm back. Okay. We're gonna be we're gonna we're gonna start turning things around. We're gonna go seven strong here. Probably six, because they're probably going to pull us next time we give it. But whatever. Manager can SMD. Or as Amanda Bynes would say, she can... Well, actually, I'm not going to say that. That's terrible. What Amanda Bynes tweeted the other day was so funny. <laughs> oh, boy. I wonder if her Twitter was hacked. That's what a lot of people think. Or are thinking. Oh. I wanted that call. I don't get a lot of those calls. It's all right. I ain't Tom Glavin, so. Tom Glavin was infamous for getting those calls. That's why he was so good in the 90s. And so bad in the 2000s. <laughs> well, he was good when he, for the la those last couple years. But, like, after he signed that huge contract with the Mets, he was terrible for those first few years. Still a Hall of Famer, but he was, he had, I think it was two or three years, but he was absolutely terrible. And it's too bad, because that's when I was starting to get into baseball, so I never really knew the good Tom Glavin. But I was still always Tom Glavin fan. I had him on a few of like my like Red Sox franchises on like MLB 06 the show. <clears throat> yeah, my voice is still really like hoarse. I got like a morning voice. Oh, I would have been sick if I got that. That'd have been a web gem. See it, Jenkins. Jenkins. Jinx. Bobby Jenks. Best Red Sox. Probably probably a top five thousand Red Sox player of all time. Out of the five thousand and four people that have played on the team. Right ahead of Jack Clark and and Curtis Lestanzik. <laughs> Curtis Lestanzik. So bad. Oh man. And Sidney Ponson on that 03 team. Ponson was good in the World Baseball Classic a few years back. When he was on the Netherlands. No. Nine. He had a good year that year. Then he got like signed by the Royals and sucked. But are we going to get pulled? Why? That's so dumb. You should not pull me up. Ready? If he scores. Okay. Yeah, well, there's our first loss. That's too bad. 
Shucks. Shucks, shucks, shucks. We're really struggling now. We gotta pick things up. Oh, shut up, manager. You could get a good defense. I checked out some of the, the, the fielding percentages, right? Our, our first baseman has a fielding percentage of 854. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna wrap this video, guys. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy, and hopefully we'll uh, turn things around soon and hopefully get called up to the majors maybe by the end of this year. That'd be awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy, and so is Mount.